Hey guys, well, winter has arrived here in Texas. It is 29 degrees, freezing rain outside, snow possible later today, and I'm here reviewing another Blu-ray review. This time we received a Blu-ray TV show from Mill Creek Entertainment, and that is Rescue Me. Now, as with my other reviews, I'm not going to give a review of the show itself, but instead I'm reviewing the Blu-ray and if it's worth adding to your collection and picking up. But first, let's get into those Blu-ray specs. Rescue Me, the complete series, runs seven seasons with all 93 episodes spread over 16 discs, with about six to eight episodes on each disc. The show runs 65 hours and two minutes, and those two minutes are important, and is rated TVMA. The release sports a new HD 1080p master, maintaining the anamorphic 16 by 9 1.78 to 1 ratio which means it does fill your entire TV screen it also sports both DTS HD 2.0 stereo mix and a DTS HD 5.1 mix which I'm going to explain more of later first off guys I want to talk about the lows with this transfer and then the highs the biggest drawbacks I saw with the video was the picture it has a lot of sharp edged noise also, I found a good amount of artifacts and flickering noise during low light scenes and in the black levels. What this means is that since all 93 episodes are put on 16 discs with about 6 to 8 episodes per disc at about 45 to 50 minutes per episode, this means it's equivalent to cramming about a 5 to 5.5 five hour movie onto one disc. In order to do this, the bitrate levels have to be low, and my player did read a constant bitrate of between 12 to 16. Now, I've had some viewers on social media ask me to explain what exactly bitrate is, and this gives me a great opportunity to do so. so but without getting into a whole video on it, I'll just put it very simply. The higher the bitrate level is, the better and higher the video quality is. Meaning, the higher you go, the deeper the color levels, the sharper and clearer and much more defined images of the video. Most shows on Blu-ray, for example, uh, The Walking Dead, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, have a constant bit rate between 25 and 32. However, the higher the bit rate, the more room it takes on the discs which is why most hour-long TV shows only have between two to four episodes per disc. So because of the low bit rate, there, is a, there are a good amount of artifacts and flickering in the black levels, especially during, like, like I said, low light and night scenes. And it does interfere with the image's stability depending on the scene. Aside from the low bit rate, this is typically also caused by the DNR, or digital noise reduction, being too low or non-existent. However, I did notice that changing my TV video settings, the dynamic range setting to low or off, does help with the flickering, but not overall the video. I also noticed a constant coat of grain, with while at times it's present and very heavy, other times it's low and barely noticeable. Skin tones levels I thought looked natural, those are the lows, and those are the low of the lows. Now for the highs of the highs. Now one thing to note is I did notice starting with season three is when the video quality is way better than the first two seasons. I think season four and seven look the best. Now this could be due to the change of digital formats at the time. The show switched over to more improved HD digital cameras in season three, being that the first two seasons started filming in 20. 2003 and 2004, 2005. So in 2006, 7, 8 and above, they switched over to more high improved HD cameras, which you can really tell the difference between seasons four and seven. When the detail and color levels are on, they're on. For one example, the firehouse inside and outside looks nicely detailed and defined. One thing that I've noticed 
Some have complained about this master is the colors look very dull and flat and nothing really is eye-catching. Honestly, to be truthful, I kind of like this. The, the contrast levels just felt more natural and organic to me, which fits the type of show this is. So honestly, I didn't consider it much of an issue. What I did notice was fine detail to the essential reds and yellows in the show, most notably the fire engines when they go battle fires. It has a constant clarity and vibrance, and of course the fires during the firefighter sequences uh, has deep reds and yellows. It looks really good. This is the highlight of the new master, is these little scenes. All right guys, so we talked about the video master. Now, how about the audio? So the specs on the box on and on the Mill Creek Entertainment website does state DTS MA 5.1 lossless surround sound, which I was really excited about. I was really gearing up to hear the show about firefighters fighting fires in 5.1 surround sound. So imagine my disappointment when I played the first disc Season 1, Episode 1, and my receiver read it as DTS 2.0 Stereo. Aww. I know, I know. But, but, but hold on, hold on guys. I didn't scream and yell and throw the Blu-ray down the garbage disposal just yet. And I went and checked the other seasons on the discs. And the show does switch over to a DTS 5.1 surround audio beginning with Season 3. Yeah! I know, I know, right? Perfect. Now, I'm not going to say this is the fault of Mill Creek. It's not a mastering issue. Instead, this is how the show was produced. Let's review the 2.0 stereo mix first. The first two seasons stereo track is obviously much more limited and confined than the 5.1 surround track, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. The dialogue is very clear and easy to understand and fixed in the two speakers. The music and sound effects are spread out evenly between the two speakers as well, and the clarity and details are great. But being in stereo, you can definitely tell the limitations there. Now for the 5.1 track. This is where the audio truly shines. The DTS MA 5.1 lossless surround track starts with season three and it is much deserved and welcome audio mix. And you can tell this right off the bat with the opening title sequence. It plays with a much more robust and expansive mix. The music and sound effects are much more aggressive. Of course, it goes without saying the fire sequences do sound the best. The firefighting sequences have very firm and immersive surround effects. The LFE or the bass levels are very active during these scenes as well. Dialogue isn't a whole lot different from the first two seasons, with the exception that it's firmly placed where it should be, and that is in the center speaker. The dialogue is very nice and clear and easy to understand. I didn't have my receiver volume up past 20. The biggest drawback with the audio is I still felt like I was watching a TV show. It still had that feeling of a broadcast audio track instead of what we're used to today of where things really do sound cinematic. Again, I wouldn't say this is the fault of Mill Creek at all. It is just the way the show was produced. Overall though, for a show from 2004 to 2011, this sounds great. And I didn't find any issues with audio distortion. All right guys, so we talked about the Video Master and the Audio Master. Now how about those extras? And there is a ton of extras with this Blu-ray. Here's the lowdown. It comes with audio commentaries from the cast and crew on select episodes. It also comes with deleted and extended scenes gag reels, outtakes, featurettes, and interviews from cast and crew. It also includes a documentary. Now these are spread across the 16 discs and it'll take hours to get through them all, but it's a lot of fun to do so. If you love behind the scenes making of extras, or if you're a filmmaker yourself, you're going to enjoy these scenes. And lastly, one huge thing I loved about this release from Mill Creek is they finally put some money into the packaging. This box instead feels very solid. The discs are housed in two thick plastic cases with each disc in its own tray. 
and the box set is tucked very nicely in a plastic slip cover. So high praise for Mill Creek for this. All right guys, so it's time to get into those Blu-ray scores. For the video, I'm giving a three out of a five. Audio, I'm giving a four out of a five. The extras, I'm giving a five out of a five. Well guys, that's the end of our Blu-ray review for Mill Creek Entertainment's box set of Rescue Me, the complete series. I want to thank Mill Creek Entertainment for sending us this Blu-ray for us to review and letting you guys know if it's worth adding to your collection. And as always guys, I want to thank you sincerely for watching our, our videos, for supporting our little channel here, and stay tuned for more Blu-ray reviews and also some film analysis videos that I have coming up that I'm really excited to share with you guys. As always, guys, we'll see you in the future.